All right. Usually I like to stack up on that current brake right there. So I threw on my waders. What the heck did I get? A sucker? <laughs> I just caught a sucker on a jig. That's awesome. I thought it was a walleye for a second. In the mouth. That is really cool. And just get the butt of the pole in my waders there. Look at that. Right in the mouth. 16th ounce bucktail. Decent sucker with a kinked back. 17, 18-ish. Running in the carp. Oh, got one. I think he took it in his mouth. They're chasing after it. <laughs> That's definitely fun. Being aggressive. Well, I'm jigging a brown and white bucktail jig. I don't mind catching a big carp. As long as it doesn't make my line all wiry, maybe give him a little more, a little more play here. That's why I was snagging into him. They're chasing after it. <laughs> they must think it's like a crayfish or something. I know they get kind of active on lures in the spring. If I did get him in the mouth, that is, I'm pretty sure I saw him chasing it, like coming towards me as I was jigging it away from him. Pretty awesome. A lot heavier than a smallie. So that's a fun fish. I got him on eight too, he's going nowhere. He can run, but he can't get away. There's a lot of carp, I swear I'm seeing like four foot shadows out that way. Big carps it looks like. I mean, the carps probably aren't four feet, but they're definitely big ones, you know. And the shadows are just blurred a little. It's a pretty good size one. Probably not a monster, but a good one. At least decent, I'd say. It's hard to move. It's getting into that current there. <laughs> that was a fun strike. I saw a shadow come up and chase it the last like 10 feet before he took it. It's pretty awesome. Visual carp fishing with lures. Pretty heavy. Good sized carp. I think. Oh, it's weird. Sometimes they fight different. Back in the day, I used to catch a lot of, lot of 20 pound carp. Sometimes I'd get carp there just about 30. And it seemed like, you know, the, the biggest one I ever caught on, on a line at least, um, fought a lot less than a than one that was like two-thirds the weight so it's just like it depends on their attitude sometimes too it's hard to gauge it it seems like how how hard they fight doesn't really always match up with how big they are is what I'm trying to say it kind of does but not perfectly sometimes little ones have a heck of a lot of attitude and just put up a big fight see like this guy isn't that big but he feels pretty heavy That's one of the things that makes it pop. When the line rolls over their bodies there, helps pry the thing out. Don't want that. Just ease them in here. Yeah, he took it right in the mouth. He chased it up and ate it. That's pretty cool. It's 
pretty cool. Yeah, small guy. Turns out he's small. It's okay though, it's still a fun fight. It's getting awkward. That is cool. Great. Yep. His face is all weird. Strange face. They look really stubby. Right in the mouth on a bucktail jig. Chased it up and ate it. Really cool. Left him up here for you. Small carp. I don't know. Really thin guy. Like he's thick sideways, but not not a big drooping belly. Probably get a measurement on him and release him. Just wondering how long he is. There we go. Here's a decent fish, I guess. Might be a small one. Might be a fall fish. Yeah, I saw some gray on it. Might be a fall fish. Decent sized one, I guess. Get a better look at him here in a second. Just drifting a 1 16th ounce straight king um, bitsy tube. That's a pretty big one, actually. Good sized one. 18 incher. It looks like they still have eggs, surprisingly. Oh. I hit a couple of other spots really thoroughly and I couldn't get anything to happen so I moved back here and started working a tube jig for probably 20 minutes and this feels like a carp again. A lot of rough fish on jigs today. Fall fish and two carp now. Coming towards me. I got him on six pound test though and this this reel doesn't hold a lot of line so I gotta be more careful with this one than the last one this morning if I want to land them. It's a straight king bitsy tube copper colored. I'm gonna have to walk them down. I hope that jig's set good. I can't really set the hook on them here or else I'm gonna risk breaking the line. There's so much tension. I was, <laughs> at first he felt like a snag and then <laughs> I was, I was, you know, twapping the rod trying to get on snag and I let it go for a second and I lifted it back up and I was like, how did that snag move over there? <laughs> it's got to be a, a carp. Yeah, not a stupid carp. He's moving. Well, this is definitely better than nothing. At least it's some action. Another decent one maybe or small. I don't know. Hard to tell. Depends on their attitude. Pretty sure he took it in his mouth too, because I wasn't working it when it when it snagged. It, it was just like on the fall, so he probably slurped it up, thinking it was a crayfish. It's a copper-colored bitsy tube. Man, he is really not coming in. Not at all. Not at all. Look at this. I don't dare put any more tension on him. I've halfway braided six pound test from drifting a, a, a bitsy tube with it. The only thing I'm worried about is if he gets in like a tree or something underwater. There's a couple here. Like branches, I feel them. Yep, I feel them. Feel them catching on something there. Feels like, like uneven. Like they're scraping. Hopefully that's him on the bottom and not him running into a tree. Come on, baby. I want to see you. You're pretty, pretty hard fighting one. I don't know if you're big, but probably not. But you're a pretty hard fighting one for sure. Love to catch another master angler carp this year, that'd be nice. Wouldn't mind doing that. 
haven't done that in a few years. I'm just gonna play them. I'm not gonna hork on them. This might take a while. He's riding that current. Staying out there. Whew. This is gonna give me jigging wrist. Real sore wrist in the end. Ooh, baby. I don't know if it's just because I was working on the last one harder with the 8 pound test. I, I probably was, but this guy's a lot harder to pull out. I can say that much. <laughs> Hopefully he's bigger. That'd be awesome. Love a cart pushing 40. Today would be great. Ooh, baby. Yeah, it's been a really slow day of fishing, but big wood if this is a carpet ho hopefully I mean it might be something else that'd be really cool unlikely but it would be awesome but I don't know okay he's moving now getting tired both getting tired I'm not giving up though yeah one problem is I'm glad this isn't flooded now or else I'd be over my waders this spot gets particularly deep just hope he doesn't find a branch. If he finds a branch, he could slice me off real easy. There's a lot of tension here. Yeah, see how it's getting deeper? Oh. Gets real deep right here. And then it shallows back out as I move down. Real deep, two inches down from my, from going over my waders. Gotta focus on the fish shell. And there's like big bolt, whoa. Well, filling my waders. Okay. <laughs> I stepped over a boulder and landed in a pit. <laughs> Don't remember that being there. Oh. Yeah, this guy's fighting good. He's just heavy. He's being a heavy carp. Not a hard fighting carp. Not a lot of attitude, but it feels like a good amount of weight. Maybe I haven't fell hooked, too. That's, that's a possibility. Even though... I don't remember working the jig at all when I when he took it, so I'm guessing it's in the mouth. If it is in the mouth, feels pretty pretty decent carp. I also got to get him to shore before we get to that pillar there, because I can't really go on this side. It's too deep. I forgot about that. Maybe I should stop walking him. If I can. Oh, come on, baby. Man, he just won't move. He won't move this way. I don't think I budged him much at all this way. Maybe a couple feet in this whole stretch here. Whew. It really put some tension on him. Yep, gained two inches. There we go. Oh, don't want to bust this knot. I checked it, but you never know. Also don't want to work the jig out of his mouth. Ooh, heavy. Heavy. Man. Really want to get you in. I want to see how big you are. Putting up a weighted fight like this. See so you getting shallow again. Maybe if I pull you towards me this way, it might help. Maybe. Gotta get you in before I get down to there, though. After that, I don't stand a chance. Wow, staying down so, so hard. I hope you're fair hooked, because you're going to be a decent one if you are. Just can't budge him. Look at this. Still, still not tired out. Just inching him. Wonder if it's something else, like a catfish. Should be fighting harder if it is though, I would think. So heavy. So heavy. Probably a carp. 90 something percent sure it's a carp. 
Oh yeah, big orange guy right there. Yeah, look at that. That was a lanky one. Yep, he's right there. Coming in sideways. Starting to wonder if I got him foul. He's just facing right into that current there. I can get a better look at him if I just sneak up here. It's right there. Not a giant, but yeah, it's definitely a carp. Definitely a carp. It's right there. Right there. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. He's going for it. Shoot. Don't do that, don't do that. You come in. Oh, I think I got him foul. That's why he's so heavy. Oh, that was a foul hooked roll. That's gonna be really hard to get him in then. Could pop too, if he's foul, for sure. Oh man, I need to get you in before we get down to that pillar there. Come on, come on. I should have horked on you a little harder, I guess. can try to cross through that I suppose but I think I got you felt maybe he's wrapped up in the line too I don't know cool fight though there we go making a little ground a little ground oh man oh so close so close just get on this side of the you're not gonna do it are you Smart fish, smart fish. Here we go. Now it's gonna get interesting. I gotta go through the gauntlet of spiders, I guess. Oh boy. Still don't wanna lose him. Yep, too late. He's through the thing. Man, I think it gets too deep here to walk through think not certain gonna find out the fun way <sighs> really bouldery he's right there <laughs> whoa shoot very deep very deep he's right there too what a shame oh he's right in the junk but this is like a slack water right here so he's not fighting as hard oh, great it's a great place to get stuck Wonderful. Okay, there's like a edge here on this pillar I can try to walk up without drowning. It's right there. It's right there wrapped up in the junk. Oh, he's pretty big. Pretty big guy. I don't know how I got him, but he's pretty good size. Okay. I'm just gonna walk you down around this crap. Holy cow, this is crazy. What an adventure. Now stay out of the stuff, please. Just go downstream. Oh, man. He wrapped me up good right there. Yep. Son of a gun. Which side did he wrap me on? Any of them? Get off. There you go. No, it's wrapped on the rod tip. No. Oh, yes. That would have broke me off. All right, back to the shallow part. All right, we did it. Crazy adventure. You're mine now. Oh, okay, not so shallow. Whoa, slipping. Boulders everywhere, covered with slime. Oh, you thought you had me. You should have got yourself stuck in that tree there. Pretty good size, he looked thick. Definitely in the 30s, I'd say. Could be upper 30s, I don't know. Oh man, tough fight, tough fight. Oh. Oh. 
try and ease them up here. Ease them up. <laughs> I hope this camera is rolling this whole time. That would be a shame if it wasn't. <laughs> this is an epic, ridiculous battle. Getting close, so close. He's right there. Right there. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Right there, right in front of me. Right in front of me. I might have got him right in the middle. That's why it's so heavy. Now I'm gonna grab him here. Got him. All right, not a bad carp. Try and keep him in the water so I don't rip his gill plate. Hold him gently. Just kind of ease him over to the shore here. Nice and gently. Not a bad carp. Mid 30s probably. Maybe, I don't know. I'll get a measurement on him. And then let him go. Once I hold him up for you. Oh man, where the heck did I catch him? Oh, I got him right on the belly. That's why he's so heavy. <laughs> he must have like, he must have like, see the tube right there? He must have, he must have swam right over it when I cast it and caught it. Okay. Okay now. All right now, carp. Oh, oh yeah. There's a carp. That would have been an epic carp if I got him in the mouth. He would have been, oh, he might have been a 40 by the way he was fighting. But foul hook, they always feel a lot heavier. Good belly on them too.